TV or CNN, they bring in Professor so-and-so, or they bring in, or, or as a business leader. Each one of these verticals has its own hierarchy of credibility. Donald Trump comes along, and, uh, and I'm saying, wait a second, this guy may not be the only Christian, but maybe that's the reason why God's, God's picking him that way. And then for sure, I'm telling you, just as sure as I'm sitting there, I hear the words, Isaiah 45 will be the next president of the United States. I go to check it out. Well, first of all, I thought it was so clear, I thought it had, maybe it was a deceiving spirit. So I thought, well, I could, I could nip this in the bud. I'm not even going to go to Isaiah 45. I'm just going to go to Google, and I'm going to check it out. I want to know if we're the 44th president or the 4th. I want to know which number we're on, because that'll take care of this whole thing. And sure enough, it says Barack Obama is the 44th president. And I said, uh-huh. Caught that spirit, because he was elected twice. But then I found out that whatever number you get when you go in, you stick with it till you go out. <laughs> so then I jump over to uh, Isaiah 45. <laughs> Thus says the Lord to Cyrus, whom I've anointed to subdue nations before him, I have holding your right hand. And then it goes on and says, this I'm going to do. I'm going to, re I'm going to release to you the treasures that are hidden and buried in darkness. And then I'm reading on and it says, I'm going to do this for my people and for Israel's sake. I'm thinking this is the church, this is going to be Israel. And then it goes on to say, though you have not even known me. And then I'm going, dear God, what are you up to? <laughs> Next verse, verily thou art, I am a God who hides himself. God will hide himself in the unlikely candidate. He does this throughout history, constantly stumbling people around. If you don't know in your heart what's going on, your eyes and your head will totally deceive you. I said, oh my gosh. You're even saying that you've anointed this. I haven't ever heard Benny Hinn teach this one, the anointing. I'm always thinking about the anointing. The anointing. And it's so, you know, fragile. It's like, don't move. And it's like, I don't want to move. <laughs> don't grieve the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to grieve the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and there you got, you got uh, Donald Trump coming in, like, like a boom, 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 you know, like uh, Fred Flintstone and, and uh, driving, <laughs> driving through a bedrock. Kaboom, kaboom. And... And I'm sitting there thinking, and it says, the whom I've anointed, though he doesn't know me. Now think about this. When, in the, when was the last time you've heard about looking for the person who's anointed that doesn't know the Lord? Because invariably, we always think about uh, praying for a Christian. And of course, I don't care if the guy's an incompetent candidate. The one thing most Christians want to know is, is he, is he saved? Does he know the Lord? Listen, knowing the Lord doesn't make you a better driver. It may convict you when you break the speed limit, but it doesn't make you a better pilot or surgeon. How many of you know it gives you great potential? What you want is somebody who's competent. And here's a weird thing. God will raise up people like, and then I'm thinking about this. Why are we doing this? Like we, we've done a, a lobotomy on ourselves. Of course this makes total sense. In history, who was it that God raised up to save the English empire and the world, the English-speaking world? It was, it was Winston Churchill. Nobody was asking Winston Churchill about his born-again credentials because between scotch and a cigar, he would explain to you his theology. But he actually was able to frame the entire assault on uh, Europe as being the struggle for the survival of Christian civilization against the darkened lights of this monstrous power which was coming in the form of National Socialism. He actually had a greater grasp of the Christian worldview in his day as uh, whatever his belief was than some of the evangelicals did. Here's my point. God raises up a Lincoln. He raises up a Churchill. He'll raise up a Donald Trump because in answer to the desperation of the prayers of his people, you'll find that God hides himself in unlikely vessels. So maybe the real secret here is not trying to get your favorite Christian elected. Maybe the secret here is finding out who's anointed to do the most damage to health. <laughs> 